Welcome to Orlando. Hey again, I know you guys have been here like a million zillion times, but what's it like? Um, I've been a Paramore fan for a very long time, so I've seen you guys go from like playing the social here to House Blues wow. to Hard Rock, and now you're doing arena tours, yeah. and it's just insane. I mean, I know like in the UK you guys do that kind of stuff, but what's it like doing a huge arena tour, you know, in your home country? It, it definitely feels. I don't want to say it feels more real, but it's <laughs> it's crazy because we. The UK for us and overseas took off a lot quicker. And yeah, you guys like sold out Wembley, dude, was it last year or something? Yeah, <laughs> and, I mean, and we've been able to do big shows over there and big festivals too. That's another thing is they have massive festivals and we've always been a part of those. And um, to be able to come back home, and, you know, after we've done millions of theater runs and clubs and all that stuff and, you know, to be able to put on the kind of show that we put on overseas and show our fans here, like, yeah, we can do this. Like, we're, this is what we do. This is what we're, we're kind of a big deal now. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really good. It just feels like, um, I don't know, I, I feel like we've worked really, really hard to get to this point and it's nice to see it happening, you know. Definitely. And then with the second single off the album, Still Into You, it's crazy how big it's gotten, I feel like, so yeah. quickly. I mean, I remember the first time Rick played it for me, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot <laughs> wait. Um, but how is that kind of like hearing your song everywhere, essentially? I mean, I know that you guys wrote the song, right? Mm -hmm. And so kind of, I want, I want to know, as a Paramore fan, how did it kind of, is it all about your experiences, or? Um, that song in particular is... Um, I mean, we don't have a lot of love songs. I know. I don't typically <laughs> write about that stuff. I, I tend to write more about the things we go through, mm -hmm. the, the way that we see the world from our, you know, from our vantage point, from the way that we're experiencing things on a daily basis. And so some of the songs tend to be about um, the three of our friendships or something that one of us is going through that I'm, I mean, I, I, I'm, I've always written the lyrics, but a lot of it so much has to do with how the music sounds and the way that it feels, you know? I mean, not, you're not obviously not going to write, like, a, a happy, pretty song over, you know, angsty or darker music, you know? But we've always been angsty band, like, we've always done that, Yeah. And this record was our chance to... I feel like this one's, like, pulling at the heartstrings, like, oh, in a happy good. way. Yeah, we, we <laughs> wanted it to be positive, you know? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, yeah, Still Into You is, is a little bit more personal, I think, than the rest of... I don't know, not, it's not more personal, it's just a different point of view, uh, you know, my take on a love song, and our take on a love song too, you know, it's, it's not sappy, it's very fun and upbeat. Definitely. So what was it like, if you can remember, the first time you played it for Chad? Uh, I think he was really shy. <laughs> he was. <laughs> I tried to get him to come into the room like, I've got to play you a song, we got a song about you. <laughs> He just was like, this is really cool. Really quiet. Oh <laughs> yeah, I saw, we, they were here last night and I went to the show. Oh, did you Yeah, it? it was great. Show. That's awesome. Yeah. It's funny, we're following each other the next month. We're going to be like three hours apart <laughs> for the so rest of the year. Notes on the it's wall. torture. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. But anyways, I mean, it, it's cool. We, again, we just don't have a lot of songs that kind of are about love relationships, mm -hmm. you know? That's just never been our bag. But it's nice to have one, you know, yeah. or, or a couple on the record that just feel good. I feel like it's definitely something that people can relate to as well. Awesome. You know, I feel like that's why you know it works so well. It's like, oh, that's right. this reminds me of you know being in love, and it's <laughs> great. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy for you guys. It's awesome. Um, what is Christmas going to be like for you guys this year? I know you have a baby on the way. Yeah. It's going to be crazy Christmas. Aww. Yeah, I'm excited. I baby mean, Davis. She's due on Christmas Eve, so literally oh, it wow. might be Christmas. <laughs> In the hospital. I don't know, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. It'll be interesting. This year, the end of this year, we'll have a new little... I can't wait. The first care so of baby. Uh, yeah, care of baby. <laughs> I've always talked about, like, we can't wait to the day where there's a little kid with just this huge head. Oh, yeah, it's on. On. So uh, that is going to be like one of my career highlights. Yeah. Just seeing that. Wait. That's no, gonna it's be one great. of ours. It's cool. I, She's a little girl too. Yeah. That's exciting. That's always. Oh, yeah. you're like, uh, I, <laughs> great, please stay a baby great. forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know that you guys released your new video for Daydreaming today. Yeah. Is that gonna be the next single? It is here? in the UK. Okay. Oh, it's it's not here. Yeah. It's it all. 
We still get a little <laughs> bit confused by <laughs> how radio works over there, but they needed another one, so we're like, okay. Everything so. works so much faster over there. Oh, so yeah. much faster. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. kind of crazy. And yeah, they're like, we have to have two music videos with this song. So, <laughs> duh, come on. Wait, so is there another <laughs> one? No, oh, I'm just kidding. Like, it just seems like, like it alive. never stops. Yeah. Like, it, it seems like, like you can never really please them. It's like, even if we made two, <laughs> then we'd be looking for a third. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so really quick, what um what's the idea behind the tattoos? Oh. Or the oh, I know it's kinda like oh, I mean the bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the bars. Oh, they are. Wait, are these permanent? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With our powers combined, we are. <laughs> um it, what year did we get these, you guys? Two thousand eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We um, I mean, there, it's us. Tattoos on Warp Tour. Yeah. <laughs> Not always a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. I've gotten two on Warp Tour. <laughs> I had to get mine fixed up. Didn't turn out so good the first time. Oh, I still no. gotta go to get mine fixed. Up. <laughs> <laughs> there, I mean, it's it's pretty simple, s symbolic, you know, to the fact that there's three of us and. Um, I mean, but the, I think the part that gets a little deeper that's kind of hard to explain is, like. The three, it's made up of negative space, which is our skin. The thing that actually makes it an image is the bars, is, is every, or is the, the uh, frame around it, you know? Which, that sort of, to us, is symbolic of our fans, our families, our crew on the road, who are basically our family, I mean, 99% of the time, mm -hmm. you know? And um, everyone that just, like, makes Paramore happen. So, I mean, yeah, there's three of us for sure, but it's made up of a lot more than that. So, it... This was the first thing that we got matching mm -hmm. with each other. We've wanted to do that for a while. For life. Yeah. A Can't life. get rid of that. Well, I guess now you can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really we can make that up. No, <laughs> uh, I know that. I feel like you guys are around my age. And some of the bands that we kind of grew up listening to, they either, they're just not playing or they're taking a break or they have kids now. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think Paramore has been able to make it almost, what is it, eight years now? Yeah. With, I mean, all the, you know, changes and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, go ahead. I, I think we just, I feel like we got a pretty good work ethic, work ethic but at the <laughs> yeah. same time, like, we just love being able to give our fans, like, everything we can everywhere. And, and the fact is that it's kind of, it, it has grown to more of an international situation. So it's like, it seems like that, that adds a lot more work. So I feel like we're always gone and always, our head is always thinking about what's next. So even with all the stuff that's going on in between, our fans have felt that and been really supportive and really been our foundation. And I mean, I think that really is the important thing. And I think, I think they feel it and I, I know that we can tell. I mean, the kids, kids that have, they can, there's some kids that have skipped the line passes and they'll be there at like eight or nine in the morning just to hang out with everyone out out in the crowd, I'm sorry, out in the line, and I just feel like they have a really good community, so mm -hmm. I feel like that feeling makes people feel like they have a home, mm -hmm. and I don't know, we are like, you know, have big open welcoming arms, <laughs> I feel yeah. like, I feel like that's a good reason for people to stick around. Definitely. Actually, last night um, at the Newfound Glory show, Toby from H2O, this kind of, it actually made me feel really old, um, <laughs> but he said, um, he kind of started talking a little bit and he said, not this is like, I feel like music in general, but he said punk rock is something that lives inside of you. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that was so true to just like music in general, kind of yeah. like, I can, you know, relate that to you guys as well, because sure. definitely, I mean, you see the fans, they just, they go crazy and like the positive <laughs> energy, like everything is just. Yeah. Um, last question I have for you, Haley. I've been having this debate with my boyfriend. He okay. does like stuff like Zed, he's a producer. Oh, cool. And he says that he thinks you wrote the lyrics to Save the Night, but I said no. I was like, I don't think Haley would write something like that. No. So you did it. I didn't write the chorus. I wrote the second verse, the okay. I'm a fire, your gasoline. Mm -hmm. I wrote that verse. Um, it wasn't like a finished song. I also wrote the um, counter melody that comes in. I don't know if, I'm not sure which version they're playing on the radio every day, but mm -hmm. um, it's a when we get burned, we never learn line. And it sort of shows up a couple times, but... Um, the song got sent to me, you know, half finished, and they were like, we need a second verse, and I was like, let me do it. <laughs> so, uh, it, it was really cool. I, I've never experienced, you know, I don't really co-write, and I, I mean, like, we write for Paramore, and that's it, you know? Yeah. So it was a cool experience just to have, you know, a different sort of um, 
backdrop to 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 write to, to paint on, you know, like to, exactly, to, yeah. to collaborate with. And, and that's cool. It's not something I think I would do all the time. You know, I don't think I'd be, I don't feel like good at that, but it was, you know, it just was an added bonus.